Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 on the Amstrad CPC released by Ocean in 1991. You'll never guess what it's based on. Uh, it was released on the Spectrum. I have a gameplay of that on the Amstrad. This, the Commodore 64. I have a gameplay of that. The Amiga. I have a gameplay of that. And the Atari ST. And it's a very, very late game across all those formats. Even though I was in Mega Drive Town and bordering on. Well, no, I was. I was in Super Famicom Town. In 1991, whatever reason, I bought this on the Spectrum just because I loved Terminator 2. Saw it uh, in America when I was on holiday in Boston. We were staying at my uncle's house because he emigrated to America. And I've told this before, but I'm going to tell you again. To this day, uh, one of the stupid things ever. Uh, when we were at the airport, when we were at Heathrow, um, this music takes forever to get into good music. Listen to it. And even then, it doesn't sound like the movie. Anyway, um, yeah. So when I was at the airport, I bought a video magazine. The video magazine had Terminator 2 on the cover and actually had um, a review of the movie in the actual, you know, uh, middle of the magazine, even though it was a video magazine. And I read it on the plane and what was I thinking? It spoiled the movie for me. It told me, it gave away the twist. I've always regretted that I never saw the movie, um, not knowing that, spoilers, Arnie was the good guy. I deeply, deeply regret buying that magazine. But then, to be fair, you would have thought that it wouldn't have given it away. Anyway, we saw it twice uh, on back-to-back -back days. And, it, yeah, what can I say? It's one of the greatest sequels, one of the greatest movies ever made. Anyway, Ocean did their typical thing with this where they did, and all their other movie ports like Robocop and Batman were great, but they split the game into a bunch of mini games and it's driving games, puzzle games and fighting games. And on all formats, it's utterly terrible. But at the time they were going on about some stupid software thing they'd done that made the animation absolutely amazing on the spectrum. This is a hat version of the game and I've given myself infinite, um, oh, I mean, this should know, infinite uh, energy. So we can probably try and see all of the levels. I think it's seven levels. Um, it's a foreign hack room, so I couldn't tell you. Anyway, let's get into it. I don't have high hopes. Location, the shopping mall. We all remember this bit when they both meet for the first time and obviously John runs out to the car park to get on a bike. Spoilers, next level. Uh, and we have to fight. Uh, my health is bottom right, but it will not be moving. Um, the bloke from the X-Files, Robert Patrick's health, is bottom left, which will be moving. See you later. There's no music, so apologies about the background noise, um, because this is the busiest raid in the West Country. But we do have sound effects. Right, so backwards and fires kick. It plays like the Spectrum. It's not the worst animation I've ever seen, but it's not the best animation I've ever seen. And, I mean, it's colourful. It's not a port of the Spectrum. I do like that. Why is the picture of Arnie? Is it he... Uh, 101, bottom right, look like Ryan Gosling. Oh, look at that. See? See, he's liquid metal. And, obviously, the more energy I take of him, uh, the more liquid metal his face looks, which is kind of stupid, because uh, unlike Batman, you know, when it transitions into the bad guy, he's still the bad guy. He's the bad guy when he looks like a human, and he's the bad guy when he doesn't look like a human. That's a bit stupid. Obviously, Arnie will go into his... Um, endoskeleton, exoskeleton, inner skeleton. I'm not sure what it is. Right, you dead? He's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Now, this level, the Flood Channel, is notoriously bulletproof on every other version, and I can literally get 30 seconds into it if I'm lucky, because my health bottom left, John's bottom right, this, you have to avoid everything as it will take your health. Ooh, the scrolling's not the best, but... Um, and there is hell to take, and there are ramps, and there are point bonuses, which I guess give you extra lives. Distance is the top right, and it takes forever. All this scrolling is doing a number on my eyes, so don't worry, it's not just yours. But yeah, it's almost like they're elongating, dragging out a, a game that they know was shit. I mean, it, it, even with the way licensing works on these computers back in the day, which is they took a cut of the money, it wasn't that they took... 
uh, or you had to pay a super amount to get the license, I would have thought you probably paid a pretty penny for this because it was just one of those movies that you knew was going to be shout. Like, what? Watch. Right. I'd be dead now. Actually, no. Right. So imagine I just started and I'm trying to voice up, which I can't, and then the truck hits me. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Dead. I know, eh? And then look top right. It's not terrible graphics. It looks like a slightly chunkier version of the Spectrum version with a lot more colour, which is what you would consider a good Amstrad pull. But yeah, look at the distance. Unbelievable. Who thought this was a good game? Or well, good idea for a game ocean. Um, but also, Sinclair user gave this, like, good reviews. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's health. So I've never got to the end of this level. This is the furthest I've ever got. Do I feel bad about cheating? Oh no. This is what it takes for me to see this game. Not just to show you it, but like I'm curious. I mean, I know there's another fighting stage, and I know there's a puzzle stage, uh, but don't know how to, you know, or don't know what exactly they look like or what stages of the scenes of the movie they represent. I mean, what do these arrows mean? Oh, hang on. Hey. What happens if I hit those? Well, I've got infinite lives. Who cares? Location. Safe haven. Objective. Repair. Tendons. Alright, so we've got to repair our, our hands. I... It looks cool. Right. That bomb right is what it should look like. But the thing is... Oh, it's a slidey puzzle. But without a gap to show me, or a gap, you know, to move stuff in, like a normal slidey puzzle, like one of those ones you used to get 90% uh, complete, you used to get at Christmas as a kid, um, I simply don't know how to do it. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, hello. Location of the hospital. Protect Sarah. I'm not going to do anything. It's automatically skipping. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Right, so more fighting. Just going to do this. So even though I'm cheating, right, uh, and you never would have got this far, uh, you can tell that it's a sorry excuse for a game. Look, look at him. Also, what I, I move like Arnie does now. See what I did there? Just, uh, I mean, obviously they knew it would sell. I oh, yeah, and kick him in the plums. Well, he doesn't have plums. He has spheres. So I did that. Yeah. So this is shite across the board. I mean, this looks better than the Spectrum, but not quite as sharp, which is what you would expect. Um, I would say it looks better than the Commodore version. Um, it doesn't look better than the Amiga version, but as I said, it's shite across the board. Oi, die, you mu metal motherfucker. I don't even know. I'm guessing there's more motorbike stuff next. I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I'm in uncharted territory. You done? Good, you're done. I'm not going to lie. I am editing the loading a little bit. Location, elevator, objective, repair. Right. Oh, is it another puzzle game? In fact, nothing happened to my eye in this movie. That's the original movie. Ah, so this... is what we would call a traditional puzzle game. Which I'm awful at. I used to be amazing at these as a kid. I don't have to worry about my jaw. Why are you fucking around with your jaw? Anyway, as you can see, this is just... It's nice graphics, but... This, this is lame, lame, lame I say. Now it sounds like Jaws. <laughs> Zero percent complete, I don't care game, I do not care. Location, the freeway, Obje oh, objective, destroy helicopter. So, same as before, but we got a helicopter behind us. Yep. How do I destroy the helicopter? I'm just going to break. Oh, I got... 
No, that's his crosshair. If I hit... Because we all remember there being loads of cards in a movie. If I hit any other car... This is scrolling. It's probably because it's not a red background. It's better. No, I, that is my crosshair. Look, Sarah bottom right. She looks nothing like Linda Hamilton. Probably looks more like she does now. Bad. <laughs> Oh, wait, so I've got crosshair. No, I can fire. I don't know, because ultimately that's pointless. I'd imagine I'd be dead just as quick as I will, it would have been in the um, flood channel. You know, storm drain thingies or whatever. But it's irrelevant whether I'm shooting or not, because I've got a distance gauge. And look, if I didn't have... I, you can't even navigate between vehicles. Everyone in America in 1991 owned a Volkswagen Beetle. Apart from that guy there. And that guy there. But everyone else. Oh, there we go. Location. The steel mill objective totally destroyed T-1000. Wait, I thought there were seven. I don't know. I mean, it's not like the fighting stages are any good either. Look, look how... Well, oh, I can't talk. How much they've ramped the difficulty up. It won't let me near him. Come on. I don't think I've got a block. Right, so get in when he's like goo. But yeah. Right, get in, get in, get in. Right, and in again. How do I destroy him permanently? Like. Where's the pool of lava? Lava? <laughs> We're going to sort his dandruff out. Where's the pool of lava? Well, molten metal. I don't know. This game's shite. A little bit more. Do I have to beat him to the end of the screen or something? I think I do. No, I don't. He's dead. Hooray. Is he? Well done, you have saved the future of mankind. Here's a pointless picture of the movie, which I can't even make out what it is. Is that just did Stai's scene of the steel mill, not even the T-1000? I don't even know what that is. There you go, turn it to Judgment Day on the Amstrad CPC, the full game. It's awful, but to be fair, it's awful on every system well micro the ones uh, the ocean did the program before i should say so for on every single one of them yeah what were they thinking anyway as always i love to know what you think especially if you played this back in the day and how disappointed were you didn't it come with a sticker maybe a poster i don't know anyways always i love to know what you think thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later